Hi friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support on my channel. Now, if you are new here, you've been here for the first time. Uh, my name is Valrina. In this video lesson, I will be showing you how to calculate how much fabric you will need to make a king duvet cover. Okay, so let's get at it. The standard measurement for duvet, king duvet, is 102 inches, which is the width, times 90 inches, which is the length. Now, to begin with, your best bet is to buy sheeting fabric. That means you won't have to join panels and you'll have a seamless duvet cover. However, if by chance you find something that's 54 inches or 60 inches wide and you want to use a fabric, you will have to join panels because you will need more than one width of fabric to go across that 102 inches. So let's say you're buying something that's 60 inches wide and you need two widths to go across the 102 inches of the King Duvet cover, what you'll do is take that two and multiply the 90 inches, which is the length. So that will tell you how much fabric you will need to do just the face of the duvet cover so that's 90 inches by two that's 180 inches but our duvet cover has two sides so then we'll have to go ahead and multiply by two again so that we have enough fabric to make both the back of the duvet cover and the front of the duvet cover. So that's two zeros, two eights are 16, two ones are two, that's 360 inches. Now we'll go ahead, we could add an inch or we could add two inches for seam allowance, or we could add even more depending on how you want to finish off the, the leading edge, so to speak, of your duvet cover. So you decide first if you want to use buttons, if you want to use zipper, if you want to overlap and make it more like an envelope opening, then you have to decide that and then go ahead and add the increments for your allowance. So I'll just add two inches here um two inches will allow you to just finish off the cover whether it's open or you have a zipper right at the one end so i'll add two inches so that's 362 inches now this 362 inches we will take and divide by 36 inches and we do that because there are 36 inches in one yard of fabric so that will tell us how many yards of fabric we will need 10.05 yards of fabric now generally i say don't round down always round up so what you could do here is round up to 10.25 yards of fabric or if you want you could make it 10.5 yards of fabric i hope this lesson is helpful if it is please hit that like button and share with somebody who could use this information Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for your support on the channel. You take care now and I will see you 
for the next video lesson.